Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Beauty History. I am your host, Allison Chase. Beauty History is this meeting house between beauty and fashion and history. And currently, I am inspired by summer and warm months. So today, we are going to do a retrospective of some of the best Chanel Cruise Collection releases and some of the best Les Beige beauty releases. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Please join me the first Friday of each month for a new installment. However, next month, there will not be an episode of Beauty History because I'm doing something completely different. It's going to be a special occasion. A lot of you have asked me to talk about this, so this will be happening next month. But either way, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And I want to give a quick mention here to Christina O'Connell. She used the thanks button last month for our last episode and the thanks button is not mandatory. A lot of you have been using it and I really appreciate it. It's just like a little extra tip jar, but you have no obligation to use it. And I just want, I just want to give a special thank you and shout out to Christina because she has been an MVP here on this channel. So without any further delay, let's dive into the best cruise collections and Les Beige collections from Chanel. As usual, I will have a list down below of every blog that I've mentioned today. Now, let's dive into this. So first, we are going back in time to 2009, and we have the Chanel Summer Collection, the Côte d'Azur makeup release. Nothing screams Les Beige or Cruise more than the Côte d'Azur, the Mediterranean. This is the vibe of both of these releases here. From elegant Monte Carlo to the seaside city of Deauville, Mademoiselle Chanel's favorite seaside destinations are reimagined with the Chanel 2009 makeup collection. Cool coral, sun-soaked red, sandy pink beige, lush peach, and shimmering copper rose define summer's vibrant beauty. This is all about giving you a tan without giving you any sun damage, which I am a fan of. And this looks gorgeous. It isn't a huge collection. It's quite concise, but I see a few standout products here. First of all, the model looks gorgeous. I love her bronzy tanned look with a pop of coral on the lips and the manicure as well. Just that faint pop of color. And we have the Soleil Tan de Chanel. So this is 2009. I don't remember when the OG of this came out because there's been a couple reformulations recently. And I don't remember when this came out, but it could be that it came out in 2009. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. Interestingly enough, the bronzing products for the face are all called Soleil Tan de Chanel. So we have the Soleil Tan de Chanel uh, Cat Facet Bronzing Powder. So it's the bronzing brick, the four facets. That is a Soleil Tan as well. This looks gorgeous. I love a bronzer. I love this bronzing brick. I think it looks elegant. It's very Chanel with just mm, being extra. And then we have the Soleil Tan de Chanel Precious Bronzing Loose Powder. It was a lightweight powder formula giving the skin a naturally sun-kissed look. I wonder how luminous it was. I wonder if it was very sim like very simmery, very shimmery, if it was finely milled. I think that this looks really gorgeous. And of course that cream bronze gel um, base, the Soleil Tan, that one there was really, really popular. This looks gorgeous. It's it's giving me everything that I want from a makeup release. And there are also a couple of nail polishes here. Golden Sand and Orange Fizz. I have Orange Fizz somewhere. It's so pretty. It's like a creamsicle, dreamsicle, orange pastel fantasy and golden sand. Listen, there are ladies out there who love that like molten brown shimmery bronze nail polish. Golden Sand would have been for you, but I would have gone, for, I went for Orange Fizz, and yeah, but you can see here the orangey contrast with the beautiful brown beige. It's seen as well in the model photo, you know, the bronze and the pop of color. <sighs> really pretty from top to finish. Now I have something here for 2010. This just says resort, so I, I tried to find some inform information 
This was part of the Cruise Collection for 2011, it says. Oh, my mistake, 2011. I tried to find, you know, the history of the Cruise Collection, when, why. It was hard to find. I wasn't able to find a Wikipedia article on the Chanel Cruise Collection for beauty, so I've just sort of cobbled together here what I can. And I love this print that this person created, inspired by the Chanel Cruise Collection fashion, and this nail color here, this beauty segment of the Cruise Collection for 2011, inspired by Saint-Tropez, south of France, Ugh, gorgeous. And this nail polish here is called Riva, you know, Riviera. It really truly looks like turquoise water. It's giving me mermaid fantasy, the Caribbean, the Mediterranean. Yes, this looks gorgeous. It looks stunning. I think it looks amazing. And we see here the ancient formula of the Rouge Coco lipsticks before they got the reformulation. And I love the colors. I love the muted mauve color. I love the fuchsia. I love the coral. I love the pink. Just so fun. And I can just imagine someone on the Riviera basking in the sun with oversized glasses and just a pop of lip color. There were in fact two colors for this release here. There was Riva, which was a pale pastel baby blue. And then there was Nouvelle Vague, which was a bit more green, a bit more turquoise. And a lot of you have mentioned Nouvelle Vague many times. This was more aqua, a little bit greener compared to the first one. Both of those look gorgeous and they look like they have a bit of shift to them. So fun, so, so pretty. Moving on to Les Beige 2013. This product hit the shelves and it was really, it sold really well, but it also was confusing for clients because it had multiple ways to be used. This was the Chanel Les Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Color SPF 15. So this did have an SPF in it. I, I remember we had issues with it at the counter because here in Canada, we have really strict laws about makeup with SPF. We have to literally put a sticker on cos like on makeup if it has an SPF in it. We have to hide it for the reasons I don't know. And so with this one here, we got it and we had to like, I think send them back and then get a new batch or replace stickers. It was a whole thing. Anyway, I have a couple of these. So this was a healthy glow sheer powder. You could use it as a face powder. You could use it as an under eye powder. You could use it as a bronzer. It was multi-use, multi-purpose, I think is the right term, depending on the shade that you got. Most people just got a shade match for their complexion. I did that, but I also got a deeper shade for bronzer as well because it had a sheer healthy glow. It wasn't matte. It wasn't a highlighter or anything like that, but it had a soft glow to it. It's sort of like if you went into the sun and you just had a little sun kiss on your skin, you know that glow you get from the sun? It had that, it mimicked that effect. And so I think that's why some people were confused as to how to use it, but it was a great, uh, great powder. The advertising for this was really pretty. I just love the compact. I love the beige. It's les beige, so everything is beige. The compact was beige. Uh, the marketing, the color was beige. We had we had Giselle Bunchen. She's so glamazon and athletic, so she really symbolized les beige. You know, healthy outdoors in the sun, sporty, that whole vibe. I think she was a great model for that campaign, and her makeup always looked so natural like she was wearing a lot of makeup of course but they always did it in the lightest most les beige fashion that it almost looked like she wasn't wearing makeup but she was and so i think there were only eight shades to choose from i think it went from like number 10 and went and went up to 80. so i was a 30 usually for the face and then i would get the 50 for bronzer and i still have my 50 it's falling apart completely but it was so well loved. It was one of those products that I think customers weren't sure how to use at first, but it was really pretty. It was a pressed powder. It was really lovely. It was very delicate. It wasn't cakey. It wasn't heavy. It was a, a Le Beige product that really made your skin look like skin. I hope that they 
bring this back at some point because it was really, really lovely and very, very well loved. Skipping on over to 2014, we have the summer release here, the Reflet d'été, so summer reflections. Um, someone here wrote that it was poolside daydreams, poolside fantasy. And again, we have this image of a woman in the sun with a bronzed makeup look with a pop of color. Again, with like an orangey hue here, very pretty. And here we had these beautiful cream eyeshadows. Remember these, the Illusion d'Ambre? They had a few of these. They, they haven't come out with new colors, but here we had Mirage, Utopia, and New Moon. These were very pretty, one and done. These, if you didn't close them tightly, they could be dried out very quickly, so you had to make sure to twist them really tight, but these were very popular, just one and done. And they had really fun, funky mascara, like a purple and a orange. I remember selling the purple more, but some people wanted to try something different. It was like a violet and an orange. I don't know. I was I think I preferred the violet, of course, purple, the orange. I don't know who wanted that one, but it sold. And oh yes, they had the blush creams. Remember the cream formula for the blushes? They had them for a hot minute and then they just sort of discontinued them, but they were really popular with certain clients. Those were great. And then these beautiful popsicle lip glosses. I always call these popsicles because they look like popsicles to me, just like pink and orange and just super, super cute. These glosses specifically did not have a ton of color, but they were super pretty, super glossy and just everything. And then last but not least, the nail polish. The nail polish is the best part. Here we have some of the greatest hits. Eastern Light, Sweet Lilac, Pink Tonic, Tutti Frutti, and Mirabella. I still have Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti and Orange Fizz were some of my favorites. Pink Tonic, it was like a flashy pink, perfect for the toes. Eastern Light was so pretty, like everything. Every Sweet Lilac, Mirabella, all of it. And these nail polishes look like they correspond to the lip glosses. I love a matchy matchy moment. I love a fun color. This was so stunning and so, so pretty. Moving to 2014, we have the Les Beige Healthy Glow Multicolor Powder and Healthy Glow Fluid. Again, with Giselle Bunchen looking like a glamazon. This product here, we sold so much of this, the Les Beige Healthy Glow Fluid. It, was, it had an SPF of 15 with a sticker on it, but it was really sheer, very lightweight, your skin, but better. This sold constantly. It got discontinued for mysterious reasons, but this was a top seller. And here, I think this is when this came out. It came out, I think only t uh, six shades. I think it got extended after. It was sort of like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream, but you could also mix it into something if you wanted to, but it was really sheer, so, so pretty. And there were also the Healthy Glow Multicolor SPF 15 compacts. This is Chanel to Craché. We have the color blocking in the center. We have the name embossing. These were so pretty and you could swirl the brush. I always did. Or you could meticulously swatch one shade at a time. There was highlight, there was face powder. There was sort of like a bronze, bronzy or blush color. I just like the swirl and just, you know, dip and do it and live your best life. But you could use this on the cheekbones. You could highlight. It was just so pretty. There were two colors. One was a bit uh, deeper, not much. It was a bit of more of a peachy bronzy and one was more pink. Both very pretty, super popular. In 2015, they did something sort of similar. They saw the popularity of the previous year and then they came out with these two compacts. These were called the Chanel Marignard. So Marignard means like stripe. You've seen like a striped white and navy a sweater that's called a Marignard. And so they had these Marignard Les Beige compacts that were reminiscent of the year before because they were so popular. And these were multicolored, broad spectrum face powders. And they gave you that sort of effortless, uh, sun-kissed, I just got back from Monaco look. And they did have an SPF, I think like a 15 or something. Uh, so you should definitely wear a, suns a sunscreen apart. 
but there was the first one it was sort of more pink it was definitely for a more fair complexion it was more beige and pink so it would be a, a cute little blush and then number two was more of a bronzer this one here gave you that saint tropez sun-kissed look so so pretty these sold out so quickly i think the bronzer sold out much faster but either one they, they sold out really quickly in 2015 the Le beige collection had more than just those two compacts they also came out with these beautiful blush sticks the Le beige healthy glow cream blush i'm wearing number 20. they came out with these in 2015 they're called like the sheer glow color stick I was really hoping they would come out with more of these because I'm wearing number 20. It's sort of like if a blush met a bronzer and had a baby. It's your cheek but better. They have a couple other colors, but they never really expanded on these. They started doing the Baume Essentiel, the highlighter sticks instead, and they haven't really gone back and done more cream blush sticks. They've done the Water Fresh Tint Liquid Blush, they're really not the same texture. I really would love to see more of these. They're great for travel. They're great for that bronzy, les beige look here. So, so pretty. And then they came out with these two nude glosses. There was Rose Tender and Beige Star. These were pretty. The beige one was really popular. And they came out with a nude nail polish series. So for me personally, these nudes were not for me. I like a nude this one's chipped but i like a nude manicure but i prefer color i don't like when my skin matches my nail color at the same time i need some sort of differentiation i remember i tried a couple of these at the counter and i was like listen guys i can't wear this i can't I, no i'm gonna sell something else instead but i cannot wear these colors here so these were not for me but they sold really well Moving on to the 2016-2017 Backstage Beauty Cruise Collection. This was inspired by Havana. This was the Havana Cruise Collection. I remember several years ago, uh, I think some laws changed, which made it easier for Americans to visit Cuba or something. And so we saw a lot of this represented in media. And I want to show something here. There were these beautiful compacts that came out with the cruise collection that year. They were so pretty. They are these duos here where it looks like highlighter and blush. It's half and half. So pretty. It was very practical. Again, you could just swirl your brush around and ruin it like I would do, or you could keep them separate. It's very, very pretty, very light, just gorgeous. And there was one that was more bronze. It was deeper. And so you could use it as bronzer if you wanted to very pretty very very simple and i like the entire look here it's very colorful it's very festive very fun last but not least we have the 2017 cruise collection so this is les indispensables de l'été so this is the indispensables of the summer and off the top here when you look at this you just see coral and a gun metal forest green which is not a color combination that i think of often but it really works it's very interesting and it's actually quite complementary it had the healthy glow luminous color this was different than the original compact that we mentioned this one here had ridges on it and it had more of a satin finish it had a little bit more shimmer a little bit more glow to it it's a beautiful bronzer it's so gorgeous I really had hoped that they would keep coming out with the Le Beige powder compacts in various forms and keep them permanent because they were just so beautiful and so, so lightweight. It had a bronzy tone, but it wasn't too much. It was so pretty. And the ridges made me think of like ridges of sand, you know, when the, the waves crash on the beach and you get like little bumps on the sand. That's what it made me think of. There was a waterproof. Uh, mascara in this deep rich forest green and it had a matching deep waterproof liner it was like a dark blue green more more green but it was just really pretty and again it was that interesting color contrast with coral and green it was very very pretty and i loved these rouge coco stylo they don't make them anymore they were this super glossy lipstick they twisted up and you would apply it it was really glossy but it had a nice really buttery finish i have a couple of them 
they don't exist anymore but again we have like nude and coral here and we have some really interesting uh, nail colors as well of course i have no recollection of what those nail colors were called there were four of them we we see the coral pastel with a dark green reflected again but i don't remember what they were called at all i keep a lot of information up here but there's only so much i can keep I don't remember what these were called. If you remember these, let me know. And I think this about does it for our retrospective of the Chanel Cruise collections and Les Beige collections. At first, I was hoping to do just a video on the Cruise collections, but it was not easy to find. When I would Google it, when I was trying to do research, all I could find was Cruise collection fashion shows, not the beauty releases. So that's how we ended up with this Les Beige and Cruise collection because Cruise used to be a beauty release that would come out every year and they sort of stopped in around 2019. I'm not sure why, but the Les Beige collection has sort of taken over. Both of them are summer makeup releases, your skin but better, very natural, just you playing around in Monaco during the Grand Prix. That's the vibe. And so it could be that having both a few weeks apart from each other was a bit redundant so that is why i decided to combine both of these together for today's video i cannot wait to hear from you in the comments because les beige is a huge collection it has a lot of fans and the cruise collection did as well so let me know what were some of your favorite releases your favorite launches your favorite products from both of these beautiful summer collections and that is all I have for today's video. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.